What's up you guys? If you follow the channel, you know I've made videos on just about every money making method in OSRS. Flipping, bossing, skilling, you name it. I've turned a couple of GP into stacks more times than I can count. But now, I'm launching into something different. A new series where I start with just one GP and see how far I can push it. No trading, no begging, no picking up player drops. But item spawns? Those are fair game. Can I take everything I've learned over the past three years and turn this into something huge? With our 1GP, I'm super excited. All the ideas in my head are spinning right now. But I, I am Nike. I am not going to be using anything out of my bank. Just the 1GP and uh, my levels. Because, you know, they can't take away your XP. <laughs> First thing though, I would like to go to the general store and uh, buy a thing for 1GP. Value of this jug, 1GP, I'll take it. Actually, actually, shears, 1GP, I'll take those instead. The regular wool is selling for more than balls of wool, so we're not going to process this. We're going to run this shit straight up north to the GE and see how much we can get for it. One thing that's going to make all of this just a little bit tougher is uh, I have Graceful, but we're not using it here. Oh no, that'd, that'd be way too easy. Nothing in the GE yet, but I'm going to do something possibly kind of sketchy. I'm going to put these in here for like... 10 GP a pop, just because I want them to sell instantly. Yes. Nice. We turned 1 GP into 2K. Hell yeah. Stronghold of security who I hardly know her. 80 a piece? That's pretty good. Normally most of the runes here uh, from Aubrey... He's wearing a construct. Oh no, that's a rune crafting cape. I'm stupid. Normally his runes aren't profitable, but right now I can absolutely. Oh, I did an easy task. Wow. <laughs> Big things happening in this video. It must have uh, been when I climbed that style, the agility thing. Yes, used for curse spell. There. I could buy some for three, sell them for between eight and ten. And so. If I buy 50, there's still three. If I buy another 50, there's still three. Okay, I thought I was gonna have to uh, world hop a bunch. I guess not. <laughs> this is so great. Okay, they're four. I will world hop. They say it takes money to make money, but here in this video, I'm out to prove even with one singular GP, you can still manage to turn that into something substantial. The runes aren't selling as quickly as I thought they would. I guess nobody really uses body runes, but we have 900 GP to work with. Okay. We have 900 GP to work with now. Yo, not gonna lie, the mithril plate legs be looking hella nice right now, but no. No, 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 no. We, we're not allowed to take player drops. Not in this video. <laughs> While I was buying some of these handy dandy red capes to boost our stack further, the rest of the room sold. Yay, 6K. And actually to save me a trip, I'm just gonna go buy some more of those because it is way easier than doing these red capes. Although probably not as profitable. Because, let's face it, red capes are an old but gold, uh, solid builder for a cash stack. Even in free-to-play. We're gonna list these for eight, so hopefully they sell, oh, faster. I'm gonna put these in here for 90, so hopefully they also sell faster. Hey, that is wonderful. One additional layer of added difficulty for myself is like i said i am not going to be using anything in my bank i am wearing zero items if i want to go somewhere else for a butter money maker i'm either gonna have to run there or buy teleports i really want to go to the desert 
Now, you might be asking yourself, what is there out here for us in the desert with our little old 20k GP cash stack? There is all kinds of things out here in this game though. If you just keep your eyes and ears peeled, there's a lot of useful stuff here that we could buy from Shanty to make us some GP. But what I'm here for, these desert robes, they cost 40 GP a pop. Right now they're selling for over 500. So I'm, yeah, that's like a no brainer, right? And even though my bank is almost slap full of items, I am doing my due diligence to check and make sure that I don't have any of these things in my bank to skew and scuff the results. You know, integrity and whatnot. <laughs> I was thinking it sure would be a shame to just get a singular item for my one of eight GE slots when I could get several different items. We're gonna be buying some water skins as well empty ones and full ones just because you know variety well i think we made out pretty good there seven gp to our name 131 desert robes almost 300 a piece of the full and empty water skins now for the long run back to the ge but i'm so excited oh it's gonna be so much i remember these guys drop a goblin mail in the books so I'm just going to commit a little bit of goblin genocide right here for a couple of minutes while I get my run back. Bronze spear? I'll take that. I think that's worth something, right? <laughs> well, from our goblin excursion, we got two bronze square shields and uh, a bronze spear. They're not worth much. I did sell my shears though. A 50 GP. That's cool. They say they're still selling for $6.99. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna be greedy. I'm gonna do 500. And then the water skins, the empty ones apparently are going for $2.49. Don't know why. I'm gonna do $2.25. The full ones we'll do for $150. That's, well, $149. We need things to move fast. And now we have to wait on those things to sell. But we have 57 GP. We could go get some more red capes. I kind of just want to, I kind of really just want to stay busy, you know? Because if you're not staying busy, then the GP's not going to float in. <gasps> did we already sell two robes? We did. Oh, God. We're really chunky. 100, <laughs> 112 kilograms. These crossbows are fucking heavy, dude. But you know what? It's going to be worth it. They costed, God, speak English, bitch. They cost me 70 GP a pop, but they're selling for between 350 and 1200 GP right now. Things are slowly selling. That is freaking awesome. Um, let's put them in for 1K. I don't know if this is going to work. I'll, I'll wait on those. We'll let them cook. Speaking of cooking though, I'm always looking for a reason to do some cooking. I'm definitely on that 200 mil uh, cooking grind. Even though there's no cooking pet in the game, I still want it. Yay! Now I should be able to cook these without burning them. And forestry was such a great addition into the game because now you have these forestry campfires. And they last so much longer than a regular campfire. Oh my god. Might have to up the price on the antelopes though. We'll do 340. That definitely seems fair. Now we wait, but I can totally sell these three. We'll do 775. Lovely. They even sold for a little bit more. Oh, that is a really good ROI. I can't even lie. Side note, there is a rune light plugin. So you don't want to accidentally eat your meat, you know? So you can download the do not eat it plugin, toggle it on, bam, no more eating your meat. Oh no, my forestry fire. Well, not my fire. It went out. Um, I guess I gotta go hop and find another one because it's either that or buy myself a X and a tinder box and uh, make my own fires, which I certainly can do, but I'm also a certain degree of lazy. So, you know, we're just gonna hop around on a popular world, see what we can find. Oh, and just a little fun fact, I 
checked on the wiki, there is no burnt version of these. So apparently you can't burn them. So just do 50 hunter rumors and you can cook these with a zero burn rate. Do with that information what you will. I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna get any more of the raw sunlight into lips right now, so... Oh, that's so good. I doubled my freaking money. <laughs> so we are just gonna get rid of that for now. We could come back to it, but uh, we also, while waiting for those to buy, did a few guams. Those stopped buying for that cheap of a price, but it feels good. We have a 100K, haven't been at this very long at all. Literally only 45 minutes. At this point though, with 100K to your name, you probably could get yourself a budget PK setup. I'm not good at PK, but you might be. You probably could get a budget setup and a few supplies for like Mole or Scurious or uh, Slayer even. You know, Slayer tasks, they drop some herbs and whatnot. But me, I love skilling. God, I sounded like such a dork. I think that I would like to do a little bit of fletching though. So for that, I'm going to need a chisel. I have one in my bank, but you know, I don't want to use it. Get a nice, fresh, sharp chisel. Right now, let's peep it. They're going right at 1700. Heck yeah. I really should see if I have any of these in my bank. Hey, Insta buy. We love that. Diamond. Okay, I have 128 tips. I just need to keep all the tips that I make on me. That'll work. I did a little bit of price adjusting. I think I'm going to change these empty water skins again, though. That should move eventually. And I lowered these bronze square shields down, and it. Even at 1 GP, it still took five freaking minutes. Holy crap. After these few dozen, few hundred bolt tips here, I think I'm going to stop because I was selling them for 162. Now the price is 158. That's cutting into the profits. And they're not buying or selling. Usually it was an insta sell. I got one more trick up my sleeve. And we won't even have to leave a rock. I really just need the money. Please get money, GE. Somebody buy my thingies. I do want to say, though, it's really important when you uh, get a bigger GP stack to scale up your GP methods. We could have just kept buying those body rooms in the very beginning, but we probably wouldn't be where we are right now. We're going to put these battle staffs in here that we got from Zaf. Oh, and they insta sold. And I only had enough GP to get a full inventory, but look at that. 26 of them. We bought them for 7k a pop. Made a 1.3k profit on every single one. Time to catch you guys up to speed again. We only have a few desert robes, three desert robes left to be exact. I ended up drastically lowering these water skins just to move them. I lowered the crossbows also to uh, like 600 and they insta sold for even more. Sold another batch of battle stabs. We've sold several dozen of those now and uh, things are looking pretty dang good. If you've been enjoying the videos so far, I would really appreciate it if you consider subscribing. And if there's another wacky little spin that you'd like to see me put on this series, I have a ton of ideas, but I always want to hear from you guys. So drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. What could I do better? What do you want to see different? I'm really having a ton of fun on this little mini series here, and I've had the idea for quite a few days, but I really wanted to plan out and structure like the format, but at the same time, not like plan out, you know, whole episodes and whatnot. The only thing I planned in doing this was how I was going to spend my 1 GP on a single item. Everything else here, on a whim. <laughs> I'm totally freestyling here. I kind of thought of maybe, possibly, a good way to end this video. 
to be fair, I didn't really have a hard end GP cap or goal for these little mini series, but I feel like if I can make a half a mil in two hours using only one GP and all the skills and completed quests at my disposal, that's pretty freaking good in my opinion. Dang, I really want a half a mil. I'm gonna sell them for just a little bit more. So I was really hoping that there would be a couple grass punks here at the GE, but there's nobody here. I just figured it would be a super sweet gesture to just, you know, try to find a new person in the community and just give them this money because what the hell do I need it for? Define new. I just did a GP challenge video. I wanted to give somebody 500k that needs it. I'm 342 GE. First come, first serve, I reckon. Someone come trade me. Anybody? There's a grass punk. Hey! Sukuna, I hope you'll enjoy the GP. <laughs> Don't make me blush. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that is so fun. <laughs> On that note, you guys. Love you so much. I'm so excited to do even more of these, at least until Leagues comes out. It's going to be dropping soon. Let me know how hype you are for that. But on this note, you guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.